Okay guys, so this is how the box looks like of uh, this projector. We're gonna see and unbox it immediately right now to see what we see. Let's go, let's go. Okay, here we go. We have an HDMI cable, like see yourself. Medium length, maybe even short length, I'll go like that. Aluminium alloy, fully full aluminium alloy tripod here, which is superb. This is not plastic. Thank you for providing this. Of course, you can extend the legs here. You can see by stuff. That is awesome. This is a full aluminium, guys. This is to to buy uh, this one. I think it costs you ten dollars right now in Corona time with the shipping. Ten dollars. Just this. This is ten dollars. This thing here. Uh, anyway, what do we have here? User manual. Blitz of user manual. Probably in different languages. Yeah. We have of course uh, the power brick. Here it is, the power brick, and this is a this power brick you can't use with every single projector. Example with the Xiaomi Vanbu uh, projector, I couldn't use this one, guys. The Vanbu has a thicker, thicker, uh, thicker port, uh, thicker uh, basically uh, charging uh, part of that one. And we have here additional controller, guys. It seems that we have also mouse support with this one, which is super. It's neat and it's very small. This is a very small controller, superb. Anyway, let's put our hands. On the real thing, on the real thing, and here it is, this Blitzwolf, beautiful, beautiful projector. Guys, uh, this one comes with Android 9 system. Yes, with Android 9 system. And what are the main selling points? Supports Full HD, of course, native Full HD, 1080p, DLP technology, vivid colors, portable and light, and indeed, this is way more uh, portable and more lighter than the Bamboo T2 Max and all the Bamboo uh, projectors from Xiaomi. Universal compatibility, remember that it comes with this a uh, stable tripod you can just uh, basically uh, just assemble it over here attach it low noise and long lamp life so what do we have regarding the buttons power button is on the side of course we have here focus uh, focus button is on the right side also next to the power button see myself over here superb we have the lens over here, the projector on the back. I think we have here uh, speakers and the fan on the back, uh, on the sides. And what do we have here? One single 3.2 USB port, one single 2.0 USB port, 2.0 USB port. Um, and we have headphone jack and HDMI port A plus DC in. That's it, guys. Nothing else on the bottom like I showed you here. We have just screw uh, the part, of course, to screw it on a small or big tripod. That's it, beautiful. Uh, anyway, what else can I tell you about this one here? So DLP technology, display vivid, bright cinema like Im uh, image and restore realistic color. Remember that this one has also wireless projection, access to the large screen enjoyment, Android 9 system. Uh, can't wait to unpack it, obviously, to show you. Remember that this, uh, this one comes with a 2 GB RAM and 16 GB ROM. It has manual focus, simple case tone correction, smooth operation for cozy viewing, up to 300 inches screen size, guys. Up to 300 inches. It has two different aspect ratio, like the bamboo, also Xiaomi has 4 with 3 and 16 with 9. Projection distance minimum 0 0.5 to 8 meters, guys. Can you believe that? To 8 meters. Projection, uh, projection size is, of course, 40 inches to 300 inches. Projectors reflect light. LED life lamp time is 40,000 hours. So that's a great long, uh, let's just say, life uh, uh, for this one, for the Blitzwolf. And indeed, guys, I have to be honest, uh, feels very nice in the hand. This looks like a premium projector for this price tag, under 200 bucks. Beautiful. What else we can tell you about it? Portable mini size for outdoor enjoyment. It's, uh, guys, less one ki less than one kilo, remember that. Less one than one kilo. Uh, it's, uh, what is this, uh, let's just see here. The thickness is, I think, yeah, three centi almost three centimeter. Almost three centimeter. Uh, four, 11 centimeter with uh, 11 centimeters. So both, all four sides are 11 centimeters, seems so, yes. Service time, battery capacity, which is crazy. It seems that it also has, uh, as an, yeah, act as an emergency power bank via USB port. Service time up to 1.5 hours. That is superb, man. That is that is very superb here. Can't wait to right now uh, connect it immediately. We're gonna test uh, uh, and see basically the UI. We're gonna test the UI, uh, Google Play Store, YouTube, and gaming. Plus the speakers. Let's go. Awesome thing, guys. That it has LED uh, also uh, LED buttons, so they're gonna LED up at the night. That is awesome. That is seriously awesome. Okay, guys. This is right now testing the fan noise. Very quiet. Seriously, this is very low, uh, no, very low noise in my opinion. Great job, Blitzwolf. Great job indeed.
Okay, welcome back, welcome back. So here we go. This this is how this uh, Blitzfeld projector looks like, guys. Very simplistic and really clean UI. So far, what I'm seeing right now, we have YouTube, Netflix, Google Play, HDMI, screen mirroring apps, and settings on the bottom right corner. Plus, uh, you have a native uh, default file manager, which you can use right now. By the way, I'm having my smartphone just on the projector. Yes, guys. So. <laughs> You probably could feel a little bit here, some a little bit of the uh, fan noise, but in the same time, you can see that it's not that loud at all. Very low noise for this, uh, very low fan noise for the Blitzfeld projector. Anyway, regarding the apps itself, we're gonna go apps here selection. We have Aptoid TV, Chrome, eShare Server, Gallery, iMirror, Netflix, uh, Play Store, Prime Video, YouTube, uh, Video and Video, uh, Wi Fi display, guys, plus DPS projector. So all these the settings, the full settings, I didn't install nothing, nothing at all. Play Store, we're gonna enter the Play Store and this is how the Play Store looks like, guys. Check this out. So far, this is a really good, uh, smooth experience right now with this Android 9, uh, Android 9 projector. Wait a minute, I think this is my first Android uh, 9 uh, projector I'm reviewing. Uh, wait a minute, the Bamboo T2 Max or Xiaomi, I forgot which, I forgot which uh, great system it has. Let's go now to the apps. Here we have some apps. Awesome. Okay. IPTV Smart. Okay, this is gonna go back. Top charts. Discovery. Check out what is top charted. TikTok, what the heck? BBC Player. YouTube Kids. Teacher Approved. Okay. Okay, I want to show right now the mouse function. Like with the, every other controller, the mouse it's a pain in the arse. I would say like that. You will still. I, I would say this one of the fastest for sure. This Blitzfeld projector has one of the fastest mouse controls. Uh, but still, guys, this is in my opinion not a pleasant experience. You will need to get yourself uh, additional, of course, additional. Uh, I don't know wireless keyboard. Let's say like that wireless keyboard with a wireless mouse. With a touchpad, yeah, with a touchpad, that's what this one I want to see. Download the YouTube kits. Now it's a share guys, so I'm gonna go now to Jamie, and here we go. Everything is fine. Like I said here, I have a really bad Wi-Fi here. I'm not having optic, I'm having all technology here where I live. So sorry for that. To like see myself here, the download speeds are really lame. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, I'm waiting for that date when my country will have optical internet, man. Anyway, let's go next. So far. Play Store just works fine. Now we're gonna go probably to YouTube. Okay, just here we go. We are testing right now. Uh, 1080p 60 FPS. Indeed, it is a bright. Indeed, it is a bright projector here. Uh, distance here, I think this is right now uh, two and a half meters distance. Two and a half meters distance. I'm using here correction. Co uh, here, go. You can see yourself. You can use it. Awesome. I think I managed to. Let me just check it out in a minute. Okay, that's it. I think that's it. I'm gonna come here. You can see myself. Here we go. It's almost two meters, man. It's almost two meters. Can that mean almost 190? This is 190. It's not 190. And I'm just made two and a half meters. So let me just check this out. Yeah, two and a half meters, bro. The two and a half meters, and can you can see by we get 1.9 uh, meters uh, of projection right now, which is awesome. It's very very bright. And let's go now and check uh, 2K. This is basically native YouTube uh, application here. Okay, we are back here. Let me just see here. Okay, we're gonna go here, more, let's go to resolutions, okay, let's go to, we're gonna to, to 2K, let's go to 2K, there you go guys, this is right now uh, 2K, testing 2K 60 FPS, let's check this out, oh it's loading still, Okay, testing different video right now. But, uh, somehow that uh, ten, uh, the 2K was a bit buggy. I don't know why, guys. I don't know why. 
It's testing right now different uh, YouTube video. Interesting animals. Very interesting. Okay, testing right now. I, mean, I do have very bad Wi-Fi here signal right now. Too, so sorry for that, guys. I'm having really uh, Wi-Fi. My I don't have the optic Wi-Fi at all. Yeah, guys, I'm trying, but no success. Uh, really bad Wi-Fi I'm having here on higher resolution with the YouTube. Checking here the speakers. So for such a small projector, guys, this is decent. It's a good. It's a good. Check it out. Max speaker. There's a cappella voices only beatbox. Stop it. Anyway guys, so yes, for such a small projector, this is a portable mini mini projector, guys, we, we can even fit in a pocket. Uh, this is okay, decent speakers. Of course, it can't uh, replace like uh, those uh, classical heavier, bigger projectors, which have five volts uh, stereo speakers, but this one for the small compact size is good enough. Okay, just welcome back. So now I'm gonna do some uh, gaming with this projector. Check this out using the HDMI port. This is uh, connected to the smartphone. You can see by yourself the performance here, wise. Nice, very nice, bro. Very smooth. To be honest, I don't feel any big lag or something like this. This is really good. Nice, bro. Nice, let's go next. There we go, let's go. Let's hope nine. Hello guys, and PUBG for the end of the review of this uh, really good uh, compact mini seconds. projector. Come on, man. Come on. Anyway, guys, that should be it. Thank you for watching this uh, video. 
for the gaming. Let's just fin finish to the outro for this Blitzful projector. Okay, just so for the end uh, conclusion here regarding this Blitzful projector with the 2 GB RAM and 16 GB ROM, plus with the battery capacity of 4,000, you can use up to one and a half hour. Very difficult to find a projector with Android 9 for this price tag with the specs. Very, very difficult, remember that. By the way, for the end, I'm going to just show you a little bit of the settings here. Bluetooth settings, unfortunately, it has Bluetooth 4.0, not the Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, I believe it's downside, I'll say it like that. Application settings, developer options, check this out, developer options, you can enable them. Uh, and also very important is uh, you can check the audio settings, it's maximum, and projection settings. You have wind speed grade, check this out, one or to five level, which is very interesting. Projection mode, you can also rotate ceiling or rotate rear ceiling. Case on correction, check this out. There's the auto case on correction, which is again very interesting. And brightness adjustment, you can also go very low if you don't like to have it at the night and Example, my wife doesn't like to have it super, super bright at the night. Me, especially me, especially me, man. So again, this is the maximum brightness that you can go with this projector. Uh, guys, for the price tag of this, uh, of this size, this is completely decent. Uh, but of course, for $200 with the classical projectors, you can get much, much brighter uh, screen projection, of course. Anyway, that should be it. So the downside, I would say it like that, is uh, uh, it does have dual band Wi-Fi. To forget to mention that. Downside is uh, the old, uh, older Bluetooth connectivity here. Uh, regarding the applications here, uh, also the OT update. I don't know will they really receive an OT update. Many projectors have an OT update, but uh, trust me that most of you probably will have to use a local update, like find it on forum and do it by yourself. Uh, YouTube application here, I'm not satisfied by the YouTube application, the 4K, but again, I'm having very bad Wi-Fi signal, so I can't judge right now correctly uh, the performance of YouTube of this uh, projector. Uh, the, the 60 FPS gaming mode is very interesting, and indeed, it is true here. I love, I loved it. Uh, beautiful 60 FPS gameplay with this projector. Nevertheless, uh, thank you for watching this video, guys. Of course, we have a screen mirroring, but as we know, with the screen mirroring, even even if you do it over the TV or projector or Android TV box, the screen mirroring is just, guys. Anyway, you have AirPlay, eShare, and Wi-Fi display. It's not that great, guys. For gaming, especially for the gaming, the quality is very, very bad. Just use the HDMI port. Just use the HDMI port. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so for watching all. And have a great day and see you till next time. Thank you again. Remember, the buying links will be in the description to purchase this projector on banggood.com. This was, of course, I, I've been using all the time this uh, small controller, which is included in the box. Peace out. Yo.